Hi guys. So today I'm gonna explain how to solve uh, inaccuracy problems in SAP 2000. I'm gonna show you a small uh, video to see how where how the inaccuracy exists, where does it exist, and then I'm gonna show you a small video uh, to show you where might be the problem. Uh, it's a very simple fix, but uh, you might not think about it. Uh, this is the roof for a stadium, by the way. It's a very nice structure that we are gonna start uh, uh, producing it soon and uh, creating the whole structure. It's for a Lebanese project, it's a very nice project. So now, uh, what, what's gonna happen here? So, uh, in the analysis option, usually it's like this it's advanced solver. So, we just run, a, I have a very nice project, I did everything and everything is good, I run the project now, I run it for a model analysis only just to show you where is, is, uh, the problem we are facing so uh, I run the model, it will take a little bit of time because it's a very huge model as you can see here we have a negative number of negative being value equal to 4 and this is a problem because uh, we shouldn't have any negative eigenvalues. factors so let's go on another time here Okay. So eigenvalues, sorry. So the number of negative eigenvalues is four, as you can see. Just highlight it here. Yeah, and as you see, he told you here basic stability check, uh, and uh, here he saw we have a warning: the structure is unstable or ill-conditioned. And okay, that will make you think: shoot, my structure is unstable. I need to find the solution, and that's uh, make you worry. So. How to find a solution? Okay, so of course, what I did is first I went to Google and uh, I googled plus of digit accuracy or in condition and stuff like this. So I go through a couple of forms and to the SCI knowledge base. And here, I, what I read, I will just be straightforward for you. I just need to go and do a, a, do a standard analysis. So we'll remove the run, again go here analysis, set analysis option go to solver option Okay, it's by default the, the software will use advanced solver what we need to do is use the standard solver as you can see here so when you use the standard solver ok, okay and run. we don't really need to run anything else we're just gonna run the model to check this, that the model is ok and uh, when you run the model uh, okay, a little bit of time. Yeah, so now I have run the model. Again, I will go here to the analysis show last run. And the difference here is that the software will show you where you have the problem. So at the joint number 614, the software has lost the accuracy. Okay, why? Make you wonder why. So, uh, so, to, to, so the reason for this is pretty much you can go to joint number six hundred fourteen and find it. So, select uh, label six hundred fourteen. Select. So this is this joint here. So, why uh, my I'm losing accuracy here? I don't know. So, what actually is happening here? I will show you. How did I know this? Because I, uh, I, I remembered that I have created a release here. So I'm going to show you the releases for this for all of these members. Okay. So if you go to any of these members, because we have the same problem everywhere, uh, I will show it to you here. Like this, it's better. So releases. Okay. 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 So as you can see, we have releases over here, 